With the growth of Montreal, the reservoir that had been under repair had already been deemed obsolete for the city's water needs. From the year of the fire until 1856, the city was building the new reservoir located at the corner of McTavish Street and Dr. Penfield Avenue. Though it was not until 24 years later that the square was created and named after two local businessmen, brothers Emmanuel St. Louis and Jean-Baptiste St. Louis. The fountain was a do-it-yourself project of the city of Montreal back in 1849, though it sat in a very different place. This and one other fountain in Montreal were ordered via mail order from the catalog of the J.L. Mott Iron Works of New York, established in 1828 on the Bronx side of the Harlem River, and had extensive sales catalogs. Originally, the fountain was located at Vigée Square and was known as the Le Croix Fountain. In 1931, with the expansion of Berry Street southward towards De La Commune, the fountain was relocated to its current location. In the center of a large painted pool stands the base and supporting columns, two columns and two basins, simple though full of character of the historic period. Nearly two decades ago, the Project for Public Places called this square the closest thing to a European neighborhood square you'll find this side of the Atlantic. Like one other fountain we have visited in episode 4, and another one we have yet to visit, this is the third which has something in common with the others. As one enters the square from the side of St. Denis Street, one is greeted by a monument of one Octave Cremesi. French Canadians, he is considered a national bard. It is not so much his persona that holds anything in common with the other fountains. It is the common creator, Louis-Philippe Hébert, who is one of the best Canadian sculptors of his generation. In our next episode, we will visit another fountain in which Hébert played a role.